Hi, my name is Steve Goldberg, and I just want to show you guys some things you might do to help students better understand what is around Castleview High School and uh, sort of what the context is for Castleview. So if we go back in time, which you can do using this little back in time module up here in Google, um, to 1999, there was no Castleview High School. So in the past 15 years or so, that's when presumably more people moved and folks at some point said, hey, we need to start building a high school and this building was built first and then you can keep clicking through here and see the expansion, but now you're up to this building, this building, more fields, and you are where you are. Um, students should have some context of what the nearby towns are. So I'm sure you're familiar with Castle Rock and Centennial and probably also Denver, Boulder, I don't know Colorado that well. I haven't heard of Broomfield before, but it looks like it's one of the larger towns, cities, and Colorado Springs as well down there. And then just getting a sense of Colorado context and, you know, who are your senators? Who are your representatives? How does government work? Um, what are public policy issues being faced? All sorts of things like that. And I think Google Earth is an extremely powerful tool for doing that. And one thing you might consider doing is looking at where um, each of the students who sign up for Mosaic live, and it's relatively easy. I can show you, um, I'll point you to a blog post I did um, that lets you plot where all the students' houses are um, if, if that's something you want to do. There could be reasons you wouldn't want to do that, but um, could be a neat thing to see. Okay, a quick less than two-minute intro to Google Earth. 